Hi, this is Todd Prophet with Stage Directions Magazine, and today I'm going to show you how to create a portfolio for a designer or a technician on uh, CarbonMade.com. And this is a service um, I was turned on to a couple years ago. And the thing I like about it is it's simple and it's easy. Uh, you get uh, uh, you can get a free site. You can get, as it says right here, you can get five projects, 35 images, and um, no videos um, for absolutely free. If you upgrade, and I think they said it's uh, twelve dollars a month, um, you can get I forget, but you you get a, you get a lot more uh, things, and you can actually put uh, videos on the site. Um, like I said, it's pretty easy to get through. So let me just show you how to do it real quick. Uh, let's just go ahead and start by adding a website. I'm mean, sorry, adding a project. A project's going to be uh, a show. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and just put. Um, let's do Knuffle Bunny. And we're going to go ahead and just create this project. This is going to be images. Okay, and it's a welcome project. Now, what we're going to do is we can add images to the site. All right. Now, I've got a folder in my Dropbox um, account that's a bio headshot and resume. And then click on portfolio. And there we have some Knuffle Bunny uh, pictures. So let me just select three of them real quick and hit open and it's going to upload those relatively quickly. All right. Um, I can add a caption and for the caption I'm going to put and give me just a second and I will type all that in. Okay. So I've typed in all the pertinent information uh, for the show. I like to put uh, who I've worked with on the show does two things. One, it gives credit where credit's due and two, um, it's for uh, networking. Maybe uh, somebody might know Ken or Michael, the director, and then um, we've got a network connection that, that uh, could help you land the job. So I'm going to go ahead and hit save. And now we've got our first project. Why don't you just click over and view what the project look lo looks like. Okay. And let me go ahead and close that out. And so you can just keep... Um, well, that's, that's that particular project. We go back to projects and we can just keep, um, adding projects in and then we go into the about page. We've got my name. You can have a profile image. Um, let me go ahead and just add a quick image. Uh, in this case, I'm going to put a picture of myself on there and I'm going to go to my headshots or there were avatars, headshots. And we'll add my image about me. Now this is where I'm going to put um, again, you know, my my uh, biography slash cover letter, and uh, I'm just going to copy and paste that from either maybe something I've got in one of my bio pages, and let me just get some text for that. And we'll just paste in the basic bio that I use for all of my sites, and you can put in specialties. I'm going to go ahead and put in. It'd help if I could spell. All right, uh, and go ahead and add in lighting design as a specialty. I'm going to put in my email address. And if I wanted to, I could put a location. I'm going to go ahead and add in a phone number. Now, I'll, I'll tell you one of the tricks that I do, though, is um, this uh, phone number that I am putting in does real and does work. Um, but uh, it's actually a Google Voice number, so if I ever, if it ever gets abused or someone starts using it, I can just shut it off or change it uh, really easily. Okay, um, and I am available for for freelance. So that's everything under the basic uh, about. You can go in and personalize. You can change it from a dark to a white color scheme if you want. You can change uh, the different typeface. Um, you can make it big, you can make it normal. But again, that cost is part of their their sort of uh, free service. Um, and again, uh, under my header, I'm going to put down like, okay. Um, and again, I could add a custom logo if I want to for footer. For now, I'm just going to put in my name. Uh, copyright 2014. Or, you know, what else I could put here, which might not be a bad idea, would be um, You could also put your email address in there so to make sure they always can um, get to you. But, okay. 
so let's go and go back to projects real quick and let's just view so this is what I've got so far um, and about I must not hit save on something so let's go back and oh it's just taking a second to download everything figured out why everything's not showing up if I go back and I click on about again I put it in but I forgot to hit add so I'm gonna paste that in and hit add and there we go now we've got my my basic uh, about and if we go back to projects we can also change just uh, how the um, how the text is shown or how many per row that you want uh, the one per row. I'm not a fan of that. I like either the two or maybe the three um, per row. Let me add a couple more projects and I'll show you what the site. So I really quickly just added in uh, two more uh, shows. Total time took me like five minutes. The thing I got to point out is so far in this video, I've uh, it's been uh, six minutes long and add another like, actually it was probably less than five minutes, add another four or five minutes. We're, we're up to about 10 minutes that I've actually put in creating this site. Now, one of the things that helped is I have all my pictures and stuff organized so it, and, and I have a good idea of already what I want to show on, on each show so it, it will take you a little more time um, but uh, like I said this one is super easy, easy to use and you really do get a lot for for free so let me just show you that's what two in a row looks like or one in a row I kinda like three because I think it shows off the pictures the best and shows off your shows really bad the best so let's go and take a look at the portfolio um, Click on about. This will tell. This tells just a little bit about me, uh, my work, and I can just click on a show, and it, we can go through the pictures or go back and. Okay, I signed off for a second, and uh, w because I when I was looking through the settings, I don't know if you saw it or not. There was actually a little tab that said enable. Um, beta um, enable carbon aid beta or carbon made beta and uh, I wanted to see what it was I didn't think it'd be something I'd want to show you but guess what it was um, I have to say uh, I, so I switched to the beta and you get the basic site just like we had before but it's 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 added they've added actually a whole lot of things that you can do um, the first thing is you can actually change a the theme so I would recommend going to the beta stuff. I don't know how buggy it is. I've never used this before. Um, actually, let me see. I recommend it only if you're willing to have bugs every once in a while. If you want to use the simple site that I just showed you, please do that. But the, the, some of the things it did was that it created different themes. So instead of just the thumbnails, it's got the lefty theme, which I actually really kind of like, or the, the Mason theme, um, which... I really like the lefty theme, to be honest. I think that's kind of a, a neat sort of way to do it. Okay, um, but you can create the theme, then you go back. Uh, you've got your projects. You can add projects just like you did before. You can again go through and personalize some of the basic stuff. And again, this is all the stuff I think that that we saw um, before, just laid out in a different way. The thing that sort of uh, that I really liked was I think this looks a lot. I think this looks a lot better. Um, it actually put my logo in there, and you can choose whether you want to turn that on or off. Um, you can add a blurb, but the thing that I could not find in the other experience was add a resume file. So I'm going to go ahead and choose a file, and um, let's see here, resume, and I want to download that one. Open. And now they've got a quick and simple way in which they can download my... Um, they can download my my resume which is something that I thought was missing before um, so if you want to give it a shot and it looks like they've got a whole bunch more extended information you could put in there if you wanted to um, about yourself so if you want to try something new and uh, it was in the top corner it was up in this corner it was a, the settings click on the settings and enable beta um, settings and uh, it does give you a lot more so if this is where they're looking to go with the site man this is becoming a lot more powerful and I could definitely recommend it again carbonmade.com super simple super easy um, and uh, actually not a bad looking website you don't get quite as much 
uh, flexibility as you do maybe with some of the other sites, but if you're looking for something easy and fast, this will be your choice. And again, my name is Todd Profit with uh, Stage Directions Magazine. If you have any questions, feel free to email me at todd.profit at gmail.com. Thanks.